Good evening. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is 10, 12 p.m. California time. June 17th, 2025 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 3.8. Looks like that's uh, hiding out here. Uh, oh, where is it? Somewhere. Oh, green flag down here across South America. Decent cluster going on there, but uh, really nothing of abnormal activity. It's pretty much like that on any given day. Uh, Southern California down here on the Elsinore Fault. A little bit of activity here this evening uh, for a 2.8 earthquake. Just uh, oh, a couple hours ago or so it is north of Marietta, uh, Marietta on the, the Elsinore Fault. Got a little sequence of events there. Uh, at least one aftershock, it looks like, a little 1.1. Been somewhat active out here across the uh, Elsinore Fault, north and south end here recently. Got a decent swarm down here around the Lake Henshaw area as well. Very small microquakes, but a noticeable increase here on the Elsinore Fault in the last couple days. Of course, a month or so, a couple months back, I had that uh, earthquake down south here. Can't remember the exact magnitude, but things are starting to light up out here uh, in Southern California right now on the San Jacinto Fault Zone as well. Quite a few earthquakes on that uh, fairly lengthy fault system. Uh, not much going on on the San Andreas Fault here, the southern branch. Pretty quiet there for now, but uh, obviously pressurization is continuing to increase on that plate boundary. we got a pretty good cluster of quakes around the Garlock Fault Shear Zone once again as well with a, a bunch of smaller quakes. Nothing big going on, but that's been an area of some decent swarming here. Um, let's see what we got here in the last 30 days. Just in this location alone, 153 earthquakes. That's a lot. Definitely a lot of earthquake activity with no main quake. No, uh, you know, big, not even a moderate quake to associate this after or this uh, movement to. You know, if there was like a 4.8 and we've seen a bunch of these smaller quakes following it, yeah, it's an aftershock sequence here, but uh, no main quake, just a decent swarm off of the Garlock Fault shear zone. Uh, some movement there along the Ridgecrest area as well. That's the uh, fracture region that uh, experienced a series of large earthquakes, 2019, 6.9 and a 7.1 the following day, if I remember right. At, uh, still seeing some aftershock sequences there. Uh, so nothing big going on in Southern California for now, but to, obviously got to continue to watch that. Things kick up and, uh, you know, it could happen at any given time right now. Uh, the San Andreas followed up north, the creeping segment, pretty quiet. The Bay Area, San Francisco quite as well, just a couple smaller microquakes. Got the Clear Lake Volcanic Field up here. Continuing its earthquake sequence there with geothermal fields. Couple smaller quakes here into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, a 1.7 and a 1.6 down there about 11 miles or so into the subduction zone. Now let me see what we got for Cascadia trimmer activity here. Uh, still shows some down in that uh, area of uh, southern coast of Oregon. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity up here, but uh, that's where the trimmer is confined at right now. Washington area, pretty quiet. Uh, there's those earthquakes on the Idaho in the Idaho area, just on the Sawtooth Fault system here earlier. Had two earthquakes, 1.5 and a 2.8. Nothing new to report there for now. Uh, further down south in Nevada, a uh, decent swarm of twos and even a three pointer out there early this morning. Uh, quite a few earthquakes occurring out here in this area of Nevada. Uh, last 30 days here. Well, I think it's been over a month or so since we've had uh, activity out here, aside from what we're seeing right now. But uh, Nevada, obviously, a very seismically active state. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there, but uh, I do want to double check that. So let's go over here real quick, see what we have for the uh, Yellowstone National Park. And yes, it is a super volcano. Is it getting ready to blow? No, we, we would definitely know about it. There'd be some huge uplift there around the caldera and obviously some big earthquakes. Uh, but we've been uh, in subsidence there, going down in the inflation chart since um, 2009. Uh, but no earthquake activity. I don't see uh, anything of anything, to be honest, out here. Nothing going on. 
Uh, there's your oil fields out there in Texas, outside of Midland as well. Quite a few earthquakes. Uh, one earthquake way up here along the Kansas-Nebraska border area. Um, not for sure what's out here. I don't know if there's any oil fields or not. We'll take a look here on the satellite view. This looks like a 2.6 underneath whatever this is out here. Not for sure. Maybe uh, hard to say. But uh, I really don't see any uh, oil pumping operations out there. An occasional earthquake does pop up there uh, in the Nebraska and the Kansas area. Eastern portion of the country there, absolutely quiet as far as earthquake activity goes. And uh, we're getting a pretty good swarm of movement over here across the Philippines again. Latest quake of 4.6. Looks like it wants to move here. Got uh, some deeper activity across the band of sea. We did have a volcano out here erupt. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly where that was at. Somewhere out here in the Indonesia area. Uh, there's been a lot of, uh, well, you know, there's a lot of volcanoes out here across this area. Uh, really nothing new, but there was one that erupted today. Uh, the Philippines area definitely got a decent amount of earthquakes up here. A couple fives and the latest there's some fours. Might uh, keep an eye on that region. This clustering a little bit more than normal in that area of the Philippine Trench. Uh, some older activity here across the Java Trench with some fours out there. Uh, New Zealand... Some activity there across the Kermadec Trench, some deeper movement. Nothing going on there across New Zealand for now. Japan, older activity. Nankai Trough over here, pretty quiet. Uh, clustering going on across the Mediterranean, around Greece, and portions of Turkey. No big earthquake activity there for now. And there's an earthquake down there across the South Sandwich Trench, starting to fill in down there across the southern end. Maybe this is a central portion here. If we look at the last 30 days of activity there along the subduction zone of the South Sandwich Trench, a major subduction zone. You can see it on the oceanic crest a little bit better on this view. A lot of activity up north here. Uh, looks like we may be starting to fill in further center portion. Not a whole lot south here, but I expect that to fill in. It just Most of the time it kind of works its way, sometimes from south to north, but it, eventually it does fill in here. Uh, we're just lacking earthquake activity down here across the southern end. Uh, let's see what else we got. The Atlantic Ocean, some older activity there from early this morning, a five-pointer. I don't think we got anything else going on out there. Pretty quiet conditions across the Atlantic for now. Uh, Hawaii, give a quick glance here at Hawaii, and then we'll take a look at space weather activity. That is not the current image. The current, Well, I guess it was a current image here. No, I take that back. That's... Uh, it looks like it's frozen there from noon, but here's a more recent image of uh, uh, the Kilauea caldera area. It looks like some volcanic gases out there. Uh, let's see what we got here for the latest deformation data. I know we're getting close to another eruption, um, but not quite. Uh, I'm thinking maybe one more day, day and a half or so maybe two days we should see that level reach previous uh, like we've seen previously on the last couple eruptions there uh, this would be episode number 26 once it starts up uh, space weather activity here we did have a decent x flare out here from 4114 earlier uh, did throw off a couple more well an m flare and a c flare now let's take a look here see what it's doing Really not doing a whole lot right now. There's another newer area back here across the southeastern uh, section of the sun. Unnamed, but uh, let's see what we got here for complexity. Not quite as complex as 4114 up here, the source of the recent X flare, but it is flaring on the UV image here, uh, that new sunspot that's coming around. And that we get a little, a little bit better perspective of that once it comes into the Earth-directed view. Still looking likely that we'll see some further stronger flaring from this area. Got uh, quite a few peppered areas in there indicating complexity. And I believe that's got a beta gamma delta structure. There we go. Beta gamma delta 4114. It says stable here. Uh, but again, it's uh, you know just threw off an X flare and a couple M flares and C flares. Some plasma filaments out here on the uh, western limb. Really not associated with anything uh, earth directed. Looks like maybe some uh, potential aurora activity here on the 20th. Uh, so I'm guessing it looks like maybe that uh, couple 
flares recently, Earth Directed, uh, were not uh, explosive in terms of CME activity, but because um, I don't believe that is going to be the reason for that G1 class storm. Let's see what we got. Earth here in the green, the sun in the yellow. Uh, let's see here. There's one CME, a small one. Not going to do much here. Looks like it may kick up a little bit. We're really not expecting too much there. And then some high-speed solar wind stream. But, uh, yeah, it definitely looks like the recent uh, X-Flare was not explosive in terms of, you know, shooting off a decent CME. It's still in the Earth-directed view here, so might have another shot. Uh, there's that massive coronal hole, uh, coronal hole here, number 57. Uh, that could stir things up a little bit as well, but that's mainly pointing to the south. Really not too concerned with that, but we'll watch here around the 20th time period there for some potential aurora upticks as we uh, work towards that date here in a couple days. Uh, aside from that, X-Flare remains elevated at 25% chance, M-Flare at 75%, C-Flare at 99% chance there. Still got a decent chance for some uh, tornado activity or uh, uh, solar flare activity. I was just thinking of the weather right now. Um, I see there's a, a decent band of storms coming out there into Oklahoma right now. Just a bow echo with some high speed wind out there. That's up around 100 miles an hour straight line winds coming into Tulsa. Uh, looks like it's working its way uh, past Oklahoma City. This is all moving to the south here, southeast. Uh, yeah, o Oklahoma City got hit here, but there was lots and lots of lightning and uh, big time winds. That uh, severe weather threat here looks to be high risk or moderate risk for the remainder of the night, mainly due to some strong damaging winds that you can see there in that zone. 45% chance there uh, is a big time wind threat. Uh, some hail threats in there as well. Not so much for tor tornado, but there is a 2% and a 5% there for the remainder of the evening here. Now on the day on Wednesday, Severe weather shifts further to the east and expands to the northeast as well, taking with it the tornado threat. Got a 5% up around Chicago, 2% surrounding that down to the Oklahoma City area. Some wind and a little bit of hail threats out there as well. So it's just uh, uh, definitely a lot of rainfall out here. I wish we had a fraction of the rainfall that these folks get out here across the plains and Midwest out here in California. We just, that's not going to happen though. Um, I was going to show you guys something here. Oh, fire map. Yeah, we got a uh, fire going on down in Southern California. I think they're getting a handle on it. Uh, back out of here real quick. Is it Southern California, the Monte Fire? Let's see, that one's at 10% containment, 340 acres. Kind of burning out here. There's some hot spots as well. Um, border fire. Brush fire down there. Uh, I, know, I thought there was a bigger one down here. There's a ranch fire, but that's pretty much uh, contained there at 90%. Tule fire. 30 acres burning up there in the mountains. Uh, not a whole lot of containment on it, but we're starting definitely starting to get some new fires out here. Bonanza fire, that's at 10% containment. There's some mandatory evacuation orders out there in the red. Um, 181 acres. But uh, I am noticing the map starting to light up out here across the west coast, but more so way up north in the Washington, Oregon, Idaho. Quite a few big fires out there. Look at uh, even down in... Uh, New Mexico here. Look at this fire. Buck fire. That's at almost 60,000 acres. Tell me they can't get a handle on that. There's not, I mean, there's some hot spots up here, but 25% containment, huh? That is crazy. I guess there's not a lot here, but uh, it's sure uh, getting a lot of coverage out there. Same for the trout fire down there. This one looks really active with satellite based. Hot spots all over the place, 24,000 acres, and these are, uh, you know, burning uh, quite hot for the uh, satellite imagery to pick it up. Looks like it's climbing up here into some mountains and some forested areas down there. That's that is a shame too, because uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of forest there in New Mexico. Uh, what they're, you know, 
with what there is, it's nice to see and visit. So hopefully they get those contained. Uh, aside from that, folks, I'm trying to think if there's anything else out here. A um, couple small earthquakes there on Barrett. That's in Southern California. Philippines picking up another earthquake there, it looks like. Uh, let's see where that's at. I don't see it showing up yet, but d definitely uh, keep an eye on things here. Alaska, there's a 3.8 up here. I kind of forgot to cover Alaska. It's been off and on here with uh, with earthquake activity. Uh, but more so up around this region here, up uh, north of Anchorage, a lot of activity. There's a little swarm out there around that volcano. So not a whole lot of activity across the subduction zone, but it could could start to show up here soon. So just watch Alaska. A lot going on out here, folks. Just uh, be safe. We'll catch you guys out here in the morning. I'm going to call it. I'm pretty tired. Uh, so we'll see you guys out here for the uh, Wednesday morning update. Have yourself a wonderful evening there. And uh, appreciate it if you can click that like button. I definitely, uh, definitely appreciate it. Have a good night. Stay safe out there.